हे गाइज हाउ आर यू आई होप यूर डिंग वेल इन यूर लाइफ माई सेल्फ विक्रांत एंड वेलकम बैक टू एट अनदर वीडियो वेलकम बैक टू डेव टाउन सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी आर गोन सी वॉट आर की फ्रेम एनिमेशन सो वी आर बेसिकली गोन लुक इन टू हाउ टू परफॉर्म एनिमेशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ सी एस एच ऑन अवर एच टी एम एल पेजेस एंड डेट टू विद द हेल्प ऑफ एग्जाम्पल्स सो लेट एस जम्प ऑन टू द वी एस कोड एंड perform some animations but before that let me introduce you to some of the animation properties that we have so basically what is what does this animation means in css so animation basically means let's say if you want to move one particular thing one particular thing from one position to another position with respect to of its current position in that case we can use these animations if we if we want to show some kind of progress bar as you can say or you can see uh, in today's world there are many websites that use animated content just to impress the users so for that purpose only this animation thing is being used so in keyframe animation animation particularly we have these all properties first is animation delay after that we have direction duration fill mode attention count name and timing function okay so don't worry about all these properties i will show you all that properties in detail with the help of live example so let us see one properties line by line so today we are going to see these properties animation delay direction duration and as the name suggests so delay means if we if we want to perform some animation with uh, with a delay of let's say some time some seconds so we can use these properties if we want to perform animation by direction from left to right top to bottom or from like let's say in front forward backward reverse so there are many proper sub properties that i will show you in vs code no issues after that we have duration so for what duration you want me to last my animation after that we have fill mode so fill mode is basically used to ta used to target our like style to to its target before after it runs and after that we have iteration count so iteration count is basically used to used to define like how many times i have wanted to repeat my any particular animation after that animation name is we need to give a name to any of the animation for which we want to apply so i will show you that all in the help with the help of vs code and live example so let's jump directly on to our html code so yes guys i am back on my html page <clears throat> so yes guys i i am back on my index.html page so i am going to continue now with the help of my boiler plate code i am just importing my html template as always and i am going to name my html file i am just giving it a title and let's get started okay so first of all what i am doing i am just creating one div with id let's say container our favorite meaning co container it is and inside this container we are going to use one div which is having a let's say a class name of box yeah so let us see how we can like style it so i am using this internal style tag and in style tag i am just going to target my container first of all so container must have a background color of let's say yellow and our box our box should have a background color of let's say orange orange and yellow is the best combination i guess okay so first of all let me also give the height particular height to my this box let's say a height of 300 pixel and also a width of 300 pixel let's say okay and i am just uh, selecting its position as relative because i want to perform animation over this so i am just 
selecting the position relative so that we we should be able to move this box on the basis of our animation so let us see first of all whether it is working properly or not with the help of our live server yes so it is working properly i guess so first of all thought okay i guess my this page is zoom in okay at 100 percent it is looking fine 300 pixel is looking good okay so what i want right now is to perform animation so how can i perform animation okay so f for that first first thing that we have to do is animation name okay i i am just starting with the basics of animation and then we will look forward how we can perform different types of animation with the help of this uh, these properties okay so first of all i just want to give it a name so i'm just giving a, my animation a name of let's say dev town so yeah dev town is the only name that i think it's good i guess we need to give it in the this form yeah after animation name i want my animation to have a duration so animation duration we can give and we can let's say i am just giving it a duration of 2 second let's say after that there is one another property that we can perform is animation animation iteration count and what does these animation iteration count means so i am just i just want my animation to repeat repeat itself four times so that is what this animation count means okay so we will see uh, uh, the different properties later on but first of all let's just create the animation for this particular thing so we have named our animation as dev town so after that i need to use this add the rate keyframe prop keyframe identifier and in case of identifier i just need to pass on our dev town name okay so i am pass on pass, pass on my dev town name and i just want my animation from to so this this is the basic syntax that we can use so let's say from i want my width to be let's say hmm, what i can select is 300 pixel to i want my width to go towards let's say hmm, 600 pixel yeah that's fine i guess so let us see whether it is working properly or not let's do one thing let us just separate out these pages i am saving it i guess we don't need to give this thing over here yeah it's working properly now so actually i i I will tell you why why it didn't work previously because uh, I have gi I have given my name in string so instead of string we need to pass on name as it is so let's say I am refreshing the page once again you are able to see my width is changing from 300 to 600 pixel let's say if I want my duration to be 0 0.7 and I am just saving it now look at the screen of uh, left side I am saving it see within 0 0.7 it is getting repeated four times and if i want to repeat it infinite times then i can like just select infinite in animation iteration count see i am saving it right now you are able to see it is performing animation within with infinite times so let us see with delayed time let's say nine second and i want my animation to be performed let's say two times only i'm saving it see the four nine second it is getting delayed little bit delayed see nine second it will go and it will just come back to its original position okay so that this is the basic very basic animation that anyone can perform so after that we have many proper we have many properties to apply here so let's say after animation iteration count we have animation field mode let's say animation field mode we have and in animation field mode we have various properties let's say backward and forwards we will see so let's say i'm using a uh, backward let's say and i'm just saving it so you can see it is going forward like animation going is forward 
and coming backwards so that that's a very basic thing okay let's say i'm decreasing the time so within 3 seconds it is going coming backward okay let's let's try with another property of fill mode let's say i'm using now forward i'm just saving it so yeah so that's the thing it is going forward and after like completing its animation it is com like uh, coming back to our original position so that's the fill mode thing okay so after 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 this fill mode thing the another property that i wanted to explain to you is animation timing function so animation timing function what does this do so let's say i want to perform the animation in this way so let's say is in i am performing so you might be able to see so let's say i am like decreasing my count my duration to 1 second and whenever i am saving it you you might be able to see that whenever my animation is getting started from this point from this point particularly from 300 pixel so it will start very slowly but by the end it will go on fast let's say see, i am saving this see see while starting it is going slowly so that's the meaning of ease in so we you can perform ease in out and let's say ease in out we have see yeah so ease it out means at the time of starting and ending it will perform slow animation and after like in the in the middle way it will perform the fast animation so that's the meaning of basically ease in and ease out so we can perform various things with the help of this timing function also so that is the very basic thing and let's say i want animation delay so in animation delay i can pass on seconds only so 4 second let's say i am passing on i am saving this see after 4 second my animation will be able to perform 4 second i pass and after 4 second it perform for two times so two iterations are counted after 4 second let's say we are just decreasing it to 2 second i am saving it 1 2 C one two. After two seconds, it it get performed for two two more times. So that's the delay property, and another one we have is let's sorry direction we have. So animation direction, and in a uh, a direction we have alternate property. Let's say I'm selecting alternate. So you are able to see. It is going front and it's going back. See, this is going front, coming back. so duration is going front uh, like duration is like uh, going like from start to end from end to start it is going let's say and if i am using let's say some another property let's say i am using let's say alternate reverse then in that case my animation perform from end to start and start to end so yeah so that's the alternate reverse property that we have yeah so these are the properties that we can use to perform animation so let us see let's say let's say i am decreasing the width of my no i'm not decreasing the width let's say i am decreasing the pa padding i want to add some padding of 20 pixel just to showcase you properly it is it is still not working i need to give the margin i guess yeah just to see my box separate out from orange like the yellow one color so 10 pixel of margin i guess yeah now it is looking fine okay so yeah in this way we can perform animation on any boxes or anything that we wanted to have so this is the very basics of animation thing so in this video what we have seen is these much properties animation name duration iteration timing function direction delay so in the upcoming video in the next video particularly we are going to see some more about this animations like how how we can decrease like how we can use the sidebar the progress bar how we can use or how we can make this square go from this position to let's say i want that my square to rotate inside particular tab or particular container let's say so i can set all that thing also so yeah we are going to see that all in the next video and this animation is mostly used in progress bar okay so we will see its application in the next video and if you are liking the content and if you are new to the channel then do subscribe the channel also share this content with your friends and i will see you guys in the next video until then goodbye